Hi guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to my Reassembly series, episode 8 of season 3, and the nanoviruses. So, it's been a while since we've had a chance to do our nanovirus race, and actually just play. <laughs> we've been doing a lot of the tournaments, and we've been doing a lot of, a whole lot of things, aside from just playing the game. And, I miss it. I, I really miss it. It's, it's, uh, it's been tough not to be just, uh, playing. Hold on, I'm gonna remove the remove that factory and I'm gonna sell all this stuff so you may have noticed during my last announcement video that we during the announcement video I was actually playing this particular save game and just accumulate like farming and accumulating uh, resources and selling it to the to the stations and stuff and of course growing our faction in this brand new galaxy that we uh, we are beginning to conquer so and the reason being is because well if you look on the left hand side I wanted some points to play with and yes we have 27,000 see I will say this for this faction it is incredible how quickly you can turn nothing into something it's absolutely insane so within a very short period of time uh, I don't know how long that uh, that video was but I think it would end up oh wow <laughs> Uh, I actually really like this race. I, anyway, that, that the last video only, uh, only ended up being about half an hour, but we were able to accumulate probably more points in the, fa in, in the shortest amount of time than any other faction we have played thus far. This, this farming of plants thing is, is, is insane. So we're going to stick with the theme of the viruses today, and we're going to start to evolve our final classification of viruses before we move on to the next new season and faction of reassembly so first and foremost we are going to how come i'm not i can't sell any more stuff back to this station the station's full i've been selling like crazy so yeah i guess i guess it won't take any more it's like no no can't do it so yeah we we kind of came in and we just we just crushed this area and and there was so many plants in play that i couldn't keep up uh so there's a lot of let's look at the map here there is a lot of friendlies here. Now, we've just begun to start taking on this this galaxy. And if we're going to actually be successful here, we you know, as much as I love the bolo, the bolo is is very very cool. And and I love the uh the rhinovirus. Let's take a look at the rhinovirus. I like the rhinovirus specifically because he makes a great place to put plants. And look, he's acquired a shield from a different race, a different faction shield. So, I don't know where he got that, but anyway, yeah, you can cover the rhinovirus in uh in in plants which is really really fun I, I don't know it's really great so you can just follow them around and you know reap the rewards of the rhino virus but you know it's time because uh, these agents um it's impossible we, we cannot defeat the agents as much as i like this ship the the clotter i really like this ship and it has been fantastic for the farming piece it is uh not so good for fighting agents so it's about time that we start evolving our final species of virus and we need to upgrade some stuff first off let's increase our p for our ships and uh, to max ha! 8000 p we've done it guys we have reached 8000 p we can make some pretty darn big ships hey look tractor beams oh so i remember during the tournaments where i joined arthur danskin uh, we were talking about tractor beams so it looks like he's actually put that into play oh is that ever cool tractor beams Oh, neat! Okay, so we're gonna have to play with that. We have to play with that. So that's that's how we can stop these little tiny ships. Neat! I love it. Uh, I don't remember a patch where that was included, but I guess I guess that's happened. It's a thing now. Okay, awesome. So we're gonna, uh, of course, unlock some big missiles. Now I don't know that the missiles are really gonna be the mainstay here because they're really really slow. I have seen these used. Now I wonder if these are just uh, a smaller faster version acceleration 500 uh well that's quite fast yeah that's that's quite quick um i you know but i don't, I don't know if i want to do missile ship necessarily i i do like the rail guns and you know what that the this this species is really uh, the rail guns is it's it's important the rail guns or the longbow is important because this species has a real difficult time keeping up speed wise 
with some of the big bad guys. Okay, so, and then the range. I'm trying to find longer range weapons that I think would be appropriate. So, of course, the longbow. Heavy turret, of course. This is, I wonder what this, this is, I think this is a version of the Bolshevik. And if it is, I, I'd be pretty excited to see it. We may just have to test some of these before we put them into play because, I don't know, uh, we want to be sure it's the right fit, right? Uh, we do have the large shield enabled there, and we've got uh, swatter. Swatter is uh, turret speed, uh, 1146, very fast. Uh, what's the Avenger? Avenger, oh wow, this is even faster. The Swatter is super fast. Both of those are super fast. So, damage 10. So the Swatter does more damage and has a little less slower rounds per second. Uh, range, uh, the Phalanx is better. You know, I, I would take the range over the rate of fire and the damage. Actually, for, for in this scenario, I think I will. And, uh, yeah. I'm pretty pleased with that. Okay, so I'm going to get back to building our ship. And I think, well, we're definitely going heavy weapons here. And the key is to try, and to try to make something that's also relatively fast. Uh, and that, that's going to be tricky, especially, as you can see, I got started with a lot of heavy, heavy, heavy stuff. So anyway, I will get back to you in a minute. Okay, actually, I'm just going to test these out really quickly. Um, because I don't, I, I don't know. I need, I need to actually see this gun in action. It's huge. Look at the size of it. So we're, we're just gonna test it. I know that the, the virus is not done yet, but uh, we need, we need to test this, man. We need, we totally need to test this. Okay. Oh, and actually, I, I thought the uh, armor hull pieces, armor hull pieces, these hull pieces were actually bigger than what they actually are. So that gun. Oh, look at how slow the tracking speed is on it. Whoa, look at that. So it is like the Bolshevik. So it does splash damage as well. It has up to 600 range. <laughs> Definitely some blowback. Look at that. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so let's... And the tractor, I was wrong about the tractor. The tractor is used uh, kind of like a harvester is on in Faction 1. So I can actually be further away from the goodies and it'll, it'll bring it closer, right? It'll bring it in. So it's not actually... I can't actually use it against an enemy. That's too bad. I hope uh, Arthur Damskin actually does start to work on that kind of thing. Okay, and the other one we're going to test really quickly. So this is like a Bolshevik. I like it. And we're also going to test this gun. I just want to see it in action. This is right, okay. Oh, look at the range on that. That's pretty good for a defense gun. And it tracks really, really fast. So that is, I think, gonna be our next new defense gun. Very happy. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but it, if we've got enough of them, I don't think it's gonna matter. Okay, back to work.
All right, guys, there it is. Wow, this this took me. I know you may. Okay, of course I fast forward this for you guys, but this build took me. I've, I've been sitting here for like an hour, over an hour, putting this together. I, a lot of thought has gone into this, and of course you you probably saw you know all the different things I was kind of testing to see if it would work or not. Oh, sorry, I just noticed something. These are uneven. Haha. <laughs> uh, oh man. Okay, so. Actually, what we'll do is uh, we'll make that even this way. We're at 7,999p, so we're we're at the limit. Now, I, like I said, a lot of thought went into this, so a lot of unobtainium. So we, we actually spent quite a bit of P, because each one of these uh, unobtainium is actually 2P to put down, and they're heavy. Each one is 20. So this thing in total weighs one, sorry, 12,454 P. That's huge. Um, we have four, three or four major weapon systems. I don't really have much for point defense. I kind of thought about it afterwards, but then um, I think we're going to be putting all of these lasers onto auto fire, auto fire as well as uh, these flanxes as well. And actually we, we could just put everything on auto, on auto fire and, and see how it works. You know, it, it might be, uh, it might be too easy and I don't know it may not work at all and this thing's really heavy but so I really focused on a whole lot of thrusters but I tell you it it may not be enough okay uh, and at we I've decided on a name firmly decided on a name now this is not a virus and I understand that so you know I, I get it there's gonna be lots of you like but that's not a virus well this is a nano species and they're taking after the most lethal diseases known to man so why not let's do instead of anything Ebola related just because I, I, don't, I don't know I don't know no, not 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 really appropriate I don't think but anyway, instead of doing Ebola let's do the bubonic plague which has been a horrific killer throughout history I guess none of these are really socially friendly but in honor of the lethality of of the bubonic plague we are going to name this your Cinia Pestis, which is the Latin name for the bubonic plague. I thought that was kind of cool. I like the name too, Your Cinia Pestis. <laughs> I love it. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, let's save it and give it a shot. I'm actually super excited. Now, I didn't, I didn't actually get a shield system out in the front here, um, but uh, you know, it should be okay. Now, it also does not have room for a factory. But, uh, uh-oh, that didn't look good. <laughs> Something just exploded. Oh, please don't get stuck. Oh, and yeah, lots of thrusters all over this thing. So, yeah, like lots of major weapon systems. We've got big missiles, we've got little missiles, we've got uh, the point of, we've got the big, big, big ARP lasers. Is that what they're called? Sorry, I have to remember here. Uh, what are they? They're the Arcus. So the Arcus... PRP, sorry, not ARP, PRP. You're, oh, look at how fast that thing built. Actually, that's amazing. So this thing's, wow, look at it move. It's actually moving <gasps> beautifully. This has to be the most agile ship I've ever built so far. I mean, it still has the uh, the longbows, yes, and those are longbows. It still has to put in the longbows. And no, this ship can't carry anything, but this ship isn't designed to carry anything. This is not a hauler, my friends. This is not a hauler. This thing is dis designed to actually be this faction's warrior. Now, I've, you know, I've done a lot of reading and I've actually talked to the, uh, of course, I, I have spoken to the developer. And, uh, you know, having a, a really effective ship from this species is, is, is tough because it's a really defensive species. So I'm hoping that maybe we've created something that will compete with some of the other races. So I'm really excited to give it a shot. And I might even enter this into the tournaments that we're having on Sunday, by the way. I hope you've entered. If you've sent me an email, I have not probably replied to you yet, um, but I will, or at least uh, somehow I'm going to let you know that you are in the tournament. I have received a lot of emails, by the way. And I have not replied to any of the messages on the... Uh, <laughs> Uh, on the videos either, the comments on the videos, and I've responded to a couple of you guys on Steam, but uh, that's it. Wow, look at this. So lots of missiles. Look at that. <gasps> so we've got the fast firing missiles. Now, the reason I really wanted to have a lot of engines on this sucker is that the missiles are not so bad on this race. Like, they're pretty good, but in order to, I was, you know, just based on the tournaments, in order to really be effective in a tournament, 
in a tournament, you need to be able to keep up with the enemy, especially if they're like Faction 4. So I'm thinking this might be a good ship for that. Wow, look at that! This is awesome. Okay, so let's set our bindings. Sorry, I was just giving her a little bit of a test drive. Uh, I think uh, the missiles, you know, we could just put everything on auto fire. No, I'm going to put the large uh, schmutz launchers on my left mouse button, and we're going to put everything else on auto fire. I'm not really a big fan of that. No, no. Uh, no. Left mouse button can be the big lasers. Right mouse button can be the Bolsheviks or the schmutz launchers, and everything else can go auto fire. Otherwise, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of cheating again. Oh. Why can't I... Uh, I can't seem to... I can't... Oh, there we go. I gotta... You gotta be really delicate there to click on the uh, s small missiles. Okay, and uh, what else? Point defense. Uh, yeah, we'll keep those as point defense, those little guys. And then these can be auto fire. And then, I, you know, we could put uh, some of these on as point defense. So we could do... Or auto fire. So we'll just... Let's just do some of the lasers as auto fire. That way, it's kind of a nice balance, right? Auto fire... Auto fire. There. There. I, I like that. So, yeah, let's give that a shot. Yeah, you don't have to do all of them. Uh, I think that'll I think that'll work really well. And then we did the missiles. All auto fire. Okay. Yeah. So I still have access. I can still manually control. Oh, look at how... Oh, the longbows. That's the only other thing. Right. Okay, so... Hmm. Look at how much... Yeah, look at how much power I'm going through with the longbows. Um, but, it, you know, so far so good. Now, the, I'm worried about when I get start getting shield hits. Okay, but I need to... I forgot about the longbows. Okay, so the longbows can actually be left mouse button. Um, we're going to put the Bolsheviks on auto fire. We're going to put... Uh, and then everything else is good, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. We want to put the longbows on right mouse button. i got to remember to fire them. That's the ticket, right? Uh, or I could just put all these on auto fire and put the longbows on left and the Bolsheviks on right. There. All of the lasers and the missiles are on auto fire. The little tiny uh, flanks guns are on point defense. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's try that. Okay, so longbows, Bolsheviks. <laughs> so, excellent long-range weapons, excellent short-range weapons, Shall we go kill an agent? Um, actually, let's go recruit some people first. Uh, who are we gonna take with us? <laughs> you know what? I, you know who I'd like to take with us. I'd love to take. Uh, we may actually have to gather some resources so we could do uh, what I want to do here. I'm no longer. I'm not gonna go into battle alone. I always go into battle alone. It's a huge mistake. Um, we're viruses. I, honestly, we would never go alone. The, it, with safety in numbers, right? Wow! Look at this guy just blow through all of our guys. Just push 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 okay so I don't see okay what oh look they built some of us already oh this is gonna be I like the ship I might enter this into the tournament oh no all oh, right they can uh, plants can attach to the uh, to the unobtainium that stinks okay so we're gonna switch over to the clotter really quickly Yersinia pestis I love it yes so Yersinia pestis in case I didn't mention this it is not a virus it is actually a bacteria was it a bacteria uh, uh, you know, we know it all too well, uh, pre-pastoral, as a pre-pastoral virus, a uh, virus that, uh, of course, was eventually, uh, well, was, was discovered that was being transmitted primarily from fleas, actually, uh, and, you know, dead things and rats, and, you know, that's really where, where it started to spread so badly, and especially in England in the 18th century, and it, you know, nearly destroyed London, and then there was the Great Fire, and it killed all the rats, and it kind of took care of most of the uh, disease, so, but it's come back many times in history, and, and it's still, uh, you know, some parts in the U.S., and uh, I believe that it's, there's been cases, so, really, really interesting, actually, it's, uh, I don't want to say it's a fun disease, but, uh, <laughs> sorry, I should be focusing on the gameplay here, too. But, uh, definitely worth a mention in this game, since we're doing nanoviruses. Keep in mind, we're not doing viruses. We're not doing strictly just viruses in, in history. We've done a few other things. I think we've done some parasites, and I think we've done some bacteria and stuff. So, you know, I think we're, it's more like nano-diseases. It's nano-diseases. 
Oh, we, we still have not tried out this ship. We Oh, we really should try it. We can try it now. Oh, yeah, let's... Oh, it takes so long to build, though. Oh, okay, so what I'm going to do, actually... No, no, no. We, we need to make some money. Let's make some money. I am actually going to fast forward it while we harvest some uh, some of our goodies. Oh, wow. Look at all these. Wow, we have grown. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward it here, guys. Okay, so I've got two friendly Yersinia Pestis ready to go. So I'm pretty happy with that. I, I know that's not a lot, but that's uh, I think that's enough to get us started. I think we need to just go test out our new little fleet. Okay, so we're going to change over back to the Yersinia Pestis ourselves. Uh, where did we put it here? Right, we want to make sure there's a copy of that around. I do not want to lose that ship. Okay, yeah, because... I'm really quite proud of this ship. Now, the only thing, uh, one of the only th uh, things that still is a little bothersome, I did not actually have enough to get the the, the large shields. I thought I had the large shields, but no, that's 4,100. <laughs> uh, yeah, we didn't quite get that. So we're relying on the medium shields, but that's okay. I don't know. I think it's okay. Okay, so fortunately this thing builds pretty quick. Oh, I should have just, uh, oh well, that's fine. I should have made use of the stuff that was in my hold. Um, but this, the, look, I can already move with this ship, so that's one of the nice things about this sucker, is that even if it's a little disabled, or it's just building, uh, you have some basic mobility as well. I really like that. Okay, and away we go. Let's go capture some stations to start out. Start out small, and then we'll start heading towards Warlord. 35, 68, five ships. Okay, so let's... <laughs> Just wait until he's done. Oh, yeah, the long goes to take a minute, but that's okay. We'll just, uh, we'll head this direction. Uh, nothing we find out here should be, uh, too tough. <laughs> oh, look at those missiles go! See, that's the thing. The, the missiles, they don't have huge... That's why the ship needs to be fast. It needs to be highly maneuverable so that we can get close enough to the enemy, no matter how big or small or fast they are. And take them out and it might you know I'm really tempted to put it into the tournament why wouldn't we put it in the tournament I don't know I think it'd be fun I, I think the unobtainium will do well I don't know maybe maybe it'll just break in half super easy I don't know uh, okay so we got some <laughs> uh, super fun target practice uh, tricky <laughs> okay, and ooh, one of our anthrax. Excellent. And yes, that's right. Anthrax is not a virus as well. Anthrax is actually a parasite. So yeah, we we are nano diseases. Love it. Okay, let's go. We are gonna conquer this galaxy, man. We are on the way, on our way to defeating the galaxy. And uh, you know, having these uh, battleships. Oh, nice shot, Robbie! <laughs> oh, fantastic! Oh, 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 no, no! You got, you got to make sure, you know, don't fire unless you are sure. Okay, but uh, we, oh, did, where's my friendlies? See, this is a thing. So I can see them. I can see the two little uh, green marks here. They're coming, but uh, the AI is not that good at keeping up with you. Unfortunately, it would be really nice. And, and it is possible to lose them, and then they, you know, they kind of go off on their own again. Which is okay, I guess. Oh, this would be a nice place to start farming, too. Oh, yeah. So, it would be nice to have at least a fleet of five or six of those guys. Plus, you know, even some clotters to travel with us. To hold the resources that, uh... Actually, that's a brilliant idea. Oh, yeah, we got, we got to do that for sure. We have to get a... Oh, what's that? Is that an anthrax? I don't know, it's... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Is that... Oh, that might be our other little platform. I'm not sure. Our, the replicator. Yes, so that's our that's our other little platform. Very cool. Those longbows at range are very, very nice. Now, but they do eat a lot of energy. If I was getting... If my shields were getting pelted at the same time, that might not be so good. 
Okay, let's go take this station down here. So we are getting C for doing this. And, oh, look, we've lost one of our... We haven't lost our friendlies, but they, they got too far away. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe we lost them. I don't know. Maybe they died. I highly doubt it. That's the thing with... Uh, with the AIs, they don't. If they don't keep up with you, then they just kind of go off on their own, and that stinks. Look at we got friendlies everywhere. This is awesome. Oh, I'm gonna ram these guys into the red stuff. Yeah, the red stuff isn't good for them. Well, it's not good for anybody. <laughs> ow! Ooh, ow! Excuse me. Pardon me. Ow! 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 Meant to do that. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go see if we can find our friendlies again, because it's time to go take on an agent. What do you think, guys? I think the nano diseases are about to infect the agents. I wish we could, like, you know, send off these little plants or whatever, and they slowly start to take over their ships. Um, uh, yeah, Homeworld. Uh, that reminds me of Homeworld. I don't know if uh, anybody here has played Homeworld Cataclysm, but that was an old uh, sort of spin-off of the uh, Homeworld series. And uh, what was interesting about that one is that there was this biological life form that was able to take over the metal and electronics of ships and actually convert it into this... Uh, evil dark ship that kind of reminded, reminded me a little bit of uh oh geez uh movie can't remember it uh ah uh, da, da, da. <laughs> ah doesn't matter it doesn't matter but it was a cool cool game i really really liked it and it would be kind of cool if you could kind of do that in this you know send off the spores and they gradually start to take over and mutate uh the enemies into you know your faction uh even though it's it's still their class of ships, but it's mutated, a mutated version of it. So these red guys go down pretty fast. We have a lot of missiles and stuff too. I guess, ah oh man, I, I'm actually kind of bummed that we lost our friendlies. Like, I'm sure they just lost their way. I can't imagine that they died. Not not out here, like, I, I just can't see that happening. Okay, so I guess, ah, uh, blast, what a waste. What a waste of money. I, I think I probably got back a little bit, but, what is that? Oh. Looks like lunch. No, 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 no. Awesome. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna. I'm gonna switch back over to the clotter uh, because I can't actually uh, gather anything with this guy. That's the kind of a downside with this uh, this vehicle is that I have no room, no storage. I can't do anything with it other than just go into fights. I suppose we we could go try and fight some agents, but uh, I think that might be. I might be... That might be a really bad idea. So we're going to switch back to the clotter first. Hold on. Oh! Let's try the Tomovirus. Oh, sorry. The to Toba Movirus. Sorry. Oh, this is going to take a while. Okay. I'm going to fast forward it while the Toba Movirus loads up. And then we'll try that against an agent. <laughs> Okay, it looks like looks like we can start moving. It's not done. It's still it, so it's basically a layer of shields on the inside and a layer of shields all the way around. Each one of those shields takes like takes like I don't know five to ten seconds. Yeah, like five to ten seconds to build. So uh, it it can take uh, quite a while. <laughs> wow! Holy firepower! Actually, I'm gonna try something. Oh, somebody was saying yeah. Make sure you keep. B both the front firing and the rear firing these are rail guns uh, on at the same time otherwise it's gonna blow me back but I, I of course we have to try it right we we totally have to try it can I uh oh I have to manually do each one of them oh that stinks oh man okay well this can go on point defense yeah there is no point defense it's got four little tiny guns excuse me four little tiny guns for point defense <laughs> um, but I can't just, I can't use shift control to highlight. No, I have to manually do each one of those. Uh, okay, so let's, I'm gonna, I, got, I have to do it because I have to see this thing get blown back. The Tobomo virus is now a projectile weapon. <laughs> I love it. I love this game. I absolutely love this game. It's so much fun. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Sorry, I know that was painful. Oh, actually, it's not bad. It's not bad. It compensates really well. Um, actually, it's heavy enough that uh, it doesn't really make a big 
big deal. So as we go here, it's going to start adding more and more engines. So let's uh, let's go see if we can get into trouble. I'm sure we can get into trouble. <laughs> I'm going to have fast forward it again. Okay, I think uh, I think it's almost almost done here. We've got some growth. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, the, now this is an interesting enemy. They're just like, uh, they're almost like little turrets. Wow, look at that! That's so awesome! Boom! Now, it uses a lot of firepower to do that. Like, a lot of energy. And, of course, now the right button. Oh, hey, interesting! The right mouse button launches the ones in re behind me, so I can actually use that to accelerate. While I'm not in combat. What a great way to accelerate. Wow, look at all those resources! Hold on, hold on. Oh, I wish... <laughs> I, was, I was about to switch over to my clotter because I was just going to pick it all up, but... Uh, no, that would be ridiculous because it took me so long to build this sucker. So, the Tobomovirus, as, as neat of a ship as it is, is highly vulnerable to uh, anything that does blast damage. Because um, these... It has basically no armor. Actually, it has no armor at all. Not basically. It has zero. Yes, count it. Zero armor. Um, I wonder what would happen if we put that on ripple fire. Huh. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Basically non-stop. That's cool. Neat. It doesn't do as much damage as, as I was hoping. I, I still, I think I like it on, um, whoops. I keep changing my, uh, <laughs> my uh, keyboard control here uh, let's go back to I, I, I like the firing all at once thing it's it's just it's, it's the all or nothing I love about it okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna fast forward it again until we get to trouble we need trouble like real trouble okay I think I think we found some trouble okay so this guy he is a cruiser uh, range 3100 by Near is is hold on is he an agent? He might be a player. Well, I mean it's a player build ship somewhere somehow. A cool looking ship. Oh, somebody just killed it. Man, that was my target. I wanted to test that out. Oh, <laughs> the Rhino virus got him. Yeah, apparently somebody somebody was testing out the Rhino virus against other ships, and the Rhino virus actually beat out all of the other ships in my fleet. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It is. The most well, it was, at least it was the most well-rounded ship in my fleet. Okay, I must have taken some damage somewhere, or I've got something stuck. Okay, uh, there's bad guy, bad guy, fire! Oh, come on, oh, so close. Okay, come on, let's go around the corner here. <laughs> this is a precision weapon. It's just one big, it's a big turret that moves is what it is. Okay, careful. Fire! Oh! Oh, if they move, we're in trouble. But he's got to get a long ways away before he's out of trouble. Ah. Okay, little to the right, little to the right, little to the right. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yes! Oh, wow. Didn't do as much damage as I was hoping. Okay, it chews on him, but... Oh, that's disappointing. He rebuilds very quickly, too. Look at that. Oh, I mean, we're hitting the armor, but we're not, we can't actually do enough damage to make that matter. Okay, well, uh, interesting. So, the, but they are basically a turret. They're not all that effective for just regular combat. Interesting. What ship is that? Oh, that's another one of those platforms. Okay, we're going to switch back to our new fangled ship. The Yersinia Pestis. <laughs> and, oh look at that, explodes! I am alive! <laughs> and, already, it's ready to go. I love it. Uh, okay, so let's take along this clotter. I'm going to go into command mode. Take him. Okay, that oh, wasn't bad, Seven, 709. So if they're built already, they're actually... Hold on, what's the cost of it? I'm just curious. Uh, the clotter is normally, how much? 2,866 to build, and I just took one for 700 and some. So, uh, if they're already built, they're actually uh, pretty inexpensive just to take with us. So, that's not bad. That's all right. Okay, let's let's try to get into some combat here, guys. So, this guy was given the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> the tobacco virus a little bit of trouble. 
But uh, I have a feeling that he's not going to last long against this guy. Nope. Nope. So the longbows do way more damage than the rails. Uh, which, fortunately, the longbows actually do substantially more damage. They are a pretty heavy hitting weapon. Um, I'm, I probably lost my friendly already. This ship just moves so fast. Look at this. It just, it just hums. I wish the AI was smart enough to keep up with you. Okay, so let's... Uh, uh, I, you know what? I'm going to engage... Uh, should we... Uh, we keep losing our friendlies. I want to I go after an agent. And I think... I think... I think we're going to do it. We're going to go do it. We're going to go after whoever this guy is. It's Warlord. Uh, why not? Let's let's see how we can do solo, and if we don't do very well, we will come back with a fleet. But we're gonna have to take it slow because the AI has uh, has trouble keeping up. <laughs> okay, fast forward. Okay, we approach the agent, and we actually have one of our friendlies with us. Oh, we have a clotter. Well, that's handy. At least he can collect some of the goodies. Uh, hopefully. Oh, that ship looks familiar. It looks like one of the guys that was in the the tournament the other day. Interesting. Uh, okay. Carefully, carefully approaching very slowly. Oh, here we go. So Merlin Lancer by Warlord. Okay, so let's not attack quite yet. Or maybe we should. I don't know. What should we do? <laughs> I'm panicked. Ah, uh, virus is, fears nothing. Oh, it looks like his shields were off and then he turned them on. I don't think he's going to stand a chance. I don't think anybody's going to stand a chance against this guy. He's actually pretty darn effective. Okay, once those missiles start going too, and then... Oh, we're out of energy. Okay, so we have energy problems. Interesting. Okay, so I'm getting out of the line of fire here. I'm going to come back around. We've got... We're charged up again, so we are having energy problems. Uh, this will be a good opportunity to use my Schmutz launchers. There we go. <laughs> head to head. Oh, oh, oh. I'm trying to back away, but backing up is not good in this ship. Uh, I guess uh, my... Oh, man. Okay, I just didn't play that well. I don't know. He, how come his, his shields are so strong? We ran out of energy, so we need... Oh, bad guy. Uh... I'm not going to let you build bad guys right beside me. Come on, I'm not that stupid. <laughs> um, interesting. Okay, so we, we need... Uh, we Of course, a fleet would be better. I, I know we can do that better. But this ship needs some power. It needs more power. And I think I've got some good spots to put power. So maybe we'll do that right away. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, it'll have to do. I just, uh, I added some more s small generators. I don't know if that's going to be enough to really make a difference. But I even in doing that, I had to remove, uh, <laughs> you know, a couple of the, the lasers. But that's okay. I, I think we've got more than enough lasers. The lasers use a lot of power. And, uh, you know, maybe that'll balance it out so it's okay. I could break out the calculator and figure out exactly what I'm going to need to do it. But, uh, you know... Uh, what I need, you know, I can find that perfect balance. And actually, I might just do that, because, you know, I, that's kind of fun, too, sometimes. Sometimes it's fun to work out exactly, like, do the min-maxing. That's That can be fun. Okay, so let's go back and see if we can't intimidate that agent a little bit. The problem is that there was more than one of them. And, uh, you know, we, we just may need, uh, we may meet, we may need some friends to go with us. I think that's probably what's going to have to happen. I suppose we could go collect a couple people and then come back. But where's the fun in that? Okay, this guy's all by himself anyway. Let's kind of get ourselves positioned here. We don't need to be right close. Let's go. Those longbows. Oh yeah, there, there goes the shields. Shields are down. Nice. That is a good ship design. Like, it, it's taken the licking, but, uh... <laughs> uh, can only go so far before the longbows start to do enough damage. Oh, except if he gets close to me, those those plasmas will chew me up. So let's maybe take out uh, as much of this stuff. We're having trouble here. We need to change the longbows to uh, pulse for sure. <laughs> oh, we got a combat rating dangerous. We had unlocked an achievement unlocked. <laughs> ah, that's the first solo agent kill like full-size agent kill so that's pretty good okay so let's change the binding here so that 
I, I think we're just we've we've designed a ship that uses way too much power, and we're gonna have to tone down some of the guns. We've got enough firepower; we just need the power to run them. So yeah, we'll we'll get there. Oh right, uh, let's change that to ripple fire. That should help. That should keep our power up a little bit. And we don't have enough uh, like battery storage, like storage of power. So like every time we fire, actually that's not bad at all. That's not bad. Actually, we can sustain that. That's pretty good. Um, we may not need that many guns on here. Oh, it's a spinny ship. Oh, like like in the tournament. Hold on. Why am I not turning? Did I change the uh, keyboard? Absolute. Okay, for some reason. <laughs> there was a spinny ship, like in the tournament. No, it was different from the tournament, but uh, still a spinny ship nonetheless. Oh, okay. Yeah, so now we can just keep that gun on at all times and just pound. The longbows are just awesome. Look at it, tear them apart. Oh, that's brilliant. Very nice. The little guy comes in there to take pot shots. Really? How come my guns did not shoot at him? That's weird. Sorry, I stopped firing there for a second because I was trying to understand why my lasers worked. Nice! Very nice. And of course, I get covered in our plants. Damn plants. <laughs> uh, it, it actually drastically affects our weight. Oh, yeah. I let the lasers chew on him a little bit. Actually, uh, the uh, schmutz... I forget we have the schmutz launchers, too. That's a great, fairly close-range weapon. Um, they do substantial amounts of damage. Oh, we're out of power, that's why. We cannot fire our main guns, because we have no power! Uh, yeah, I think we might be in trouble here, guys. We just don't have the power, and we're just getting pummeled by those proton swords. We just gotta get out of range of those proton swords. There we go. Can we survive this? I think we can! Oh, the schmutz launchers! Yes! Excellent! That in combination with the missiles. Perfect! Oh, fantastic. I think we have a winner here, guys. I think we have a winner! Oh, I love this. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Destroy them. Eat them. Ooh, another big bad guy. Okay. So, yeah, we did not die there. That's, uh, that's a remarkable difference. <laughs> we want that, uh, we really want that station. So there's a station right above us here. So we're going to head towards that. We need a place to revive if we die. And, oh, 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 oh. Okay. If I can get direct hits with the schmutz launchers, those things are toast. Whoa! Even these guys won't stand up too long, except uh, I can't take the direct hits from those uh, plasmas for very long either. <laughs> so I've got... My, my fingers are down on all buttons, and it doesn't do us any good when we do that, but we won the battle! We do take damage. There, there's no doubt. We do take damage, but uh, this is a pretty aggressive and effectively aggressive ship for this race. Like, this is very nice. I'm very pleased. Very, very pleased. And I think we're one step closer to finishing with this race and feeling like we've, we've actually accomplished something. I mean, look how far we've come. We've come from the aberration to now. It's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. And I kind of like that spike out front. Yeah, that's how it jabs into a cell and changes it. I love it. Okay, so there we go. What is that? Is it? Oh, no, that's another one of those platforms. Okay, the platforms are all right. Uh, they're not the best, but th they're all right. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to call that an episode. I know we didn't do very much, but... Actually, no, I, I contrarily, like, I've been playing here for two and a half hours. <laughs> for you, it's probably... I think I probably made this episode around 45 minutes because I've been bumping the time on my episodes for you guys by your request. Um, but So I, I do think we've actually accomplished a lot. But I think we are one step closer to feeling like we can... This, this, is, this is a playable faction. And I think this ship would be effective in a tournament scenario too as well. So I might just enter this in on, in on Sunday. I'm pretty excited. And uh, one step closer for the nanovirus or nano disease species to dominate the galaxy.